Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a sort of trading guide and this is going to be for unusuals and of course my channel is mainly orientated around unusual trades and um, stuff like that, like high tier stuff and I realised I haven't really made a guide on how to trade um, sort of lower tier, so like refined metal hats and strangers and stuff and I know there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to do it and have requested for me to help them like multiple times. Um, I know there's a few people on my comment section who have asked for um, how to trade out of refined into keys and stuff like that and I just thought I'd make a guide sort of um, explaining everything you guys will need to know about low tier trading. Now the first thing I'm going to explain in Team Fortress 2 is how the economy works because the economy in Team Fortress 2 is actually quite complex when you think about it. So the main currency in Team Fortress 2 is keys however you can't trade for everything in keys due to the fact that a lot of items out there are worth way less than the value of a key so we have a little sub sort of currency known as refined metal. There are also two smaller currencies which are scrap metal and reclaimed metal. All the three metals can be used to craft things such as weapons, hats and other items in the game. Crafting is generally a lot less profitable than trading. At the moment I'm making this video you can buy one key for 27 individual refined metals. So you can do quite a lot of trading with refined metals before you actually start getting into the value of a key. Now here's where it starts to get a bit complicated. Refined metal is made up of reclaimed and scrap metal, and sometimes you will often see hats with prices such as 1.22, 1.44, 1.66 and various other decimal places after the one refined metal. This just simply means that it's one refined metal along with some other metal, so it will be one refined, uh, maybe like two scrap, that would be 1.22. There's 10 scrap which makes up a refined metal, and 3 reclaimed that make up a refined metal. This means that there are three scraps that go into one reclaimed, and then three reclaimed which make up one refined. So it's, it sounds quite complicated, but let's put this into example. Let's say there's a hat out there that wants one refined metal and three scrap. Can you guess how much it's going to cost? It will be displayed as 1.33 ref. This is because one scrap metal can be seen as 0.11 and times that by 3 and you get 0.33 and you add that onto the initial refined and you get 1.33 refined. Of course due to the fact that three scraps equate to one reclaimed you can also pay with one ref and one reclaimed which equates to the exact same value as one ref and three scraps. So I'm fairly certain I've explained that in a way that you should be able to understand. There's 10 scraps in a refined, three reclaims in a refined. And then once you start moving out of hat trading, there's 27 refined in a key. All of this information can be found on backpack.tf for frequent price updates as well because the chances are with the constant fluctuation of keys and refined, the prices I've mentioned are probably going to shift around at some point. The reason refined at the moment is so low and there's so much refined in a key is just there's simply no real need for it. The only real use refined has is for crafting which often leaves people out of pocket after they craft a hat that isn't worth the three refined that it costs. So now we've got basic currency out the way, I want to take this time to say never ever buy anything from the Team Fortress 2 in-game store. It's severely overpriced and honestly you can get it so much cheaper. They sell individual weapons for 60 or so pence when you can buy them for literally one scrap or maybe even less from basically anywhere else including Outpost, Scrap.tf and Backpack.tf listings. You can find them cheaper so many other places. Due to the fact that there's 27 refined metal in one key, this equates to refined metal roughly costing about 8 to 9 cents per ref, which means one scrap is like not even 1 cents, so you can get them so cheaper. That's just a quick tip, if you ever want to spend cash on Team Fortress 2, your best bet is probably the Steam Community Market, and even then some things are quite overpriced. You're better off just buying keys, selling those for a find, and buying items that way. And speaking of buying items, let's get into the two Two main sites you'll need to know for Team Fortress 2 trading. Actually I'll make that three because there's one where it's kind of automated and I'll get into how that differentiates from the others later on. But the three main sites you need to know are Backpack.tf, TF2 Outpost and Scrap.tf. I'll be going through each one of these sites and explaining just how they work and how this is going to help you in trading. So. The first site we're going to be looking at is Backpack.tf. Backpack.tf is not only a site where you can trade and find items for sale along with listing your items for sale, but it's also the main pricing guide for just about every single item in Team Fortress 2. So once you log into Backpack.tf you'll be greeted with a screen very similar to this. As you can see there are the prices for refined, 
keys and earbuds. Earbuds generally aren't really used as currency now. You can see recent unusual and item price changes that have occurred and overall this is just the best place to check a price of something. So let's just say I wanted to look in my backpack to see what an item is worth. To sort by value you simply click the little drop down and sort by value as opposed to how the backpack actually looks. This will show you the most expensive to the least expensive items and it will show you the price in keys and refined of every single item that you own. So let's just say for example I wanted to check how much this deep cover operator was worth. I can tell instantly due to the fact it says 3 ref there and it literally says 3 ref next to it. However if I wanted to find out the price of an item I don't own it's also very simple. Let's say I wanted to find out the price of an item such as like uh, the hat to kill for for example. We'll simply type hat to kill and that will come up with the price of it. So six refined, and a strange variation of the hat is 10.66 refined. Strange is essentially the same as a unique item in Team Fortress 2, however, it counts the stats of the item. So a strange weapon will count the amount of kills. Every single time the kill will be added. It doesn't actually change how the item appears. So that's the pr that's how to price items on backpack.tf. It's really simple, you just type it in the search bar. This doesn't normally work for skins, but personally I avoid skin trading in general due to the fact I find it to be very difficult to find accurate pricing for it. So let's just say you want to find items for sale on backpack.tf. Let's assume you have like a couple refined metal lying around in your backpack. You'll go um, on the little trading tab and click classified listings and this will show you all the items that people have for trade along with the price people want. 0 0.05 ref is actually lower than a scrap and they just want one weapon for it. So we're going to click this little dot 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 and this will bring up a little sub menu. We're going to want to head over to general and tick the cosmetic slot and this will filter out all of the other things. Um, we can also click weapon as well if you want to be looking for strange and I'll get into that in a second. But what this will do is just filter out all the sort of rubbish that was going around and show us all the cosmetics. All of the Halloween cosmetics will be seen and we can just skip past those. Um, generally they are worth less than one craft hat which is literally about 1.22 refined I think for the average craft hat. So um, we can kind of skip past these now. And start getting over to actual hats if we um, find our way so you can see all of these items for sale and as you can start to see there's a few discounts emerging with hats costing 1.33 refined being sold for as little as 1.22 although that's not a huge profit margin you can still find some sort of profit and one scrap and if you do that like 10 times that's a refined and you will slowly start to make profit I'm not saying don't trade with Halloween hats it's just they're not too they're not too expensive and generally aren't too desired either but you can just scroll through these cosmetics for sale until you find something decent um, for a discounted price. If you want to pay full price, that's absolutely fine. So as you can see, another Dark Falco account for 1.33 only wants 1.22, so there is room for 0 0.11 refined profit. So that's how you make profit on really low hats. You buy them for slightly lower, and that's going to be a policy for most items. You buy items and sell them for more. It's really straightforward. Of course, if you want to broaden your horizon to make more profit, then you're probably going to need more refined because you won't find huge discounts trading with cheap hats. So there's so many expensive cosmetics out there. So one I can think of, for example, would be the cold snap coat. This thing costs 22 refined metal. But as you can see, there are sell orders for 20 ref, 21.55, and there is a lot more room for profit. So I could buy this one for 20 refined and sell to a quick buyer, a 24-7 trading bot actually, for 21.44 giving me an instant 1.44 refined profit um generally trading with higher tier cosmetics will give you more profit due to the fact there's more of a discount range that's acceptable for both the buyer and the seller Oh, that's actually something I actually completely forgot to mention. So let's just say you want to find listings for a specific item. So let's just go with the last breath for this one. Um, you'll see the price of it and you're going to click the little unique thing of the one you want. I don't want a strange one. I don't want an untradeable one. I don't want an uncraftable one. I'd just like to see the listings for a normal one. So we're going to click the little refined option. And what this will do is just show us all the sell listings and buy listings for this cosmetic in particular. 
So that is Backpack.tf out the way, and the next major trading site, as mentioned, was Team Fortress 2 Outpost. I use this for unusual trades, however, this is what you can use for just about anything. So let's say, for example, um, you want to be selling some cosmetics. What you will do is you'll click the Add New Trade option, um, and you're just going to want to list anything that in your backpack that you'd like to sell. Of course, using Backpack.tf pricings, you should be able to make a trade for a suitable price. So let's just say we know the last breath cost 4 points. 7, 7 refined. We will search last and find the last breath in our backpack. This means everything on the left hand side is the items that we own that we want to sell for the items on the right hand side. So we're going to be looking for offers, um, so we'll add the offers thing in. and Maybe it's worth adding a second one and changing it from unique to strange, which means we want strange items offered to us as well. Lastly, we're going to be wanting some refined metal, so we'll add that to the right hand side, reclaimed metal add some of that and some scrap metal and that is every single possible variant of an item we could want um, and th this is where we add a description of something we'd like to be selling so we'll search selling this last breath for its backpack.tf price of 4.77 refined However, this is where item trading comes in. So let's just say you get offered 4.77 refined in items. It may not be quite as wise to take this. This is why a lot of people ask for item overpay. Item overpay is where someone pays you more than its backpack.tf value due to the fact they're not paying with pure metal. This is how a lot of people seem to make profit and it's especially effective in high tier trading because it gives you lots and lots of range for profit. So I'd be looking for upwards of 5 refined, meaning there's a much wider profit margin that can be made if I accept items. This is due to the fact that other items may be difficult and longer to sell, meaning it's more risky me accepting. So I'll put also taking item overpay offers and it's as simple as that you'll create the trade and now anyone that wants a last breath will go over to the search tab and put the last breath on the right side this is how the output search system works so let's say for example you want to find someone selling a last breath you will simply search the last breath and make sure it's on the left side of the trade. As I mentioned earlier, everything on the left side of a trade on TF2 Outpost is for sale and everything on the right side is stuff the buyer wants. So we'll just search for this and here we will find every single person who is selling a last breath and the price they want. Someone selling for 5.33, there's my trade, again that is what anyone would see. Um, there's a bunch of other people, so that is how you find someone selling something on TF2 Outpost. Generally there's not as many discounts for normal hats on TF2 outpost and it's really not too good for finding discounted things but overall it's nice if you just want to buy some cosmetics to fill out a set so the last site I'm going to be speaking about is Scrap.tf, and this is an automated trading site that uses bots. Um, it's actually really strange, it's a really strange concept to how this site works. So let's say for example you have a few strangers in your backpack that you'd like some quick pure for. You'll click sell strangers, and what this will do is it will give you a solid price for each one of your strange items. And this is a really good way of just cleaning out your backpack of all of these items you don't use, because you can mass trade them for some quick and easy pure. They will be paying less than Backpack.tf. TF price and they will be reselling them to buyers that will be prepared to pay full price for them. So it's actually really good if you want to just get rid of some stuff lying around in your backpack. They buy hats, killstreak kits, trading cards, skins, unusuals, just about everything in Team Fortress 2. And as I mentioned earlier, it's just a really quick way of getting some pure. Um, there's a also a buying function where you can buy the items that people have bought and overall it's just a really useful way of getting some quick pure sorted out. Let's just say I wanted to buy a few hats. You click on one of the bots, it doesn't really matter which one you click on, and you can see all of these hats that have been traded to the bots. They actually sell them for like um, backpack.tf price or potentially maybe a little bit below backpack.tf price, but still you can actually end up picking up some decent deals. For the more expensive items you can actually buy them from the bots with a bit of discount. Let's take a look at the, cro the Crook Combatant for example. They are selling it for 6 refined. On Backpack.tf they're selling uh, it's priced at 6.22 refined. You can buy it from 6 refined for various sellers on Backpack.tf but regardless there's still discounted hats on Scrap.tf. Although it's not very profitable and you lose money if you sell stuff, it's a really good way of gathering pure which allows you to buy more discounted things in the future. So those are the three main trading sites and how you use each one of them.
I've explained how the economy works and how you can potentially make a profit and find decent deals on each of the individual websites. If you liked this video then please do remember to leave a like and let me know if it helped you down below and if you think it can help other people then please do feel free to share this video around because I spent a ton of time um, preparing this video and like editing it and everything like that and I really hope you guys enjoy it and it helps you out because I get tons of people asking me how to start trading and I just thought this would be a suitable guide so let me know again if it helped you down below and if you found this really useful but apart from that guys that is just about it so thank you again so much for watching and peace